Alright, what's going on guys? Your boy TG and today back with another NHL 22 video. So in this video, we're going to be seeing how I do on the Colorado Avalanche. That's right, we're on the Stanley Cup champion Colorado Avalanche. Um, if you guys did not see my uh, TikTok video where uh, I scored... Well, I pretended to score the Stanley Cup winning goal. Go ahead and check that out. That got over a thousand likes and a thousand views. I also posted it on YouTube. So if you scroll down my YouTube channel, you should be able to see it there. I also posted it on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, uh, you should see it there as well. But anyway, uh, and also some people were making jokes or kind of uh, saying something about it, like what team do I play for? Um, and um yeah congrats on winning the stanley cup and i just went wrong and oh yeah guys i also wanted to tell you this before i get started um the colorado avalanche actually did comment it on my tiktok video uh of me pretending to score a stanley cup winning goal and uh, i was so shocked about it um nasher had commented on it and zach aka the hockey jedi had also commented on it so really shocked about that and, um, yeah, that's kind of why I'm making this video. So, uh, we're going to go to edit lines. So, in the first line, uh, I'm going to be playing with Miko Rantanen, The Moose, Nate Mack. Um, so, I'm going to be playing with them. We're going to be getting a plus five. Second line is Gabriel Landeskog. Nazem Kadri, who is now Calgary Flames. So if you guys did not see my NHL news and update video, uh, you want to go ahead and check that out. And uh, yeah, so it's just going to be Gabriel Landeskog, Nazem Kadri, JT Confer on the second line, uh, getting a plus one. Uh, third line got Valley Nachuskin, Alex Newhook, and Andre Burkowski, who's now Seattle Kraken. Um, it's going to be getting a solid zero. And fourth line, you got Darren Helm, Tyson Jones, Nicholas, our boy, Cool Bell. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Defense, got Samuel Gerard and Kel McCarr getting a solid zero, which I don't know why, because Kel McCarr, Connor McDavid, the defense, you guys hear me, you guys heard me say that. Over and over again, he's the Conor McDavid of defense. Um, that's why I call him. I don't know why they're getting a solid zero, but it is what it is. Um, second pair, you got Eric Johnson, who's... I don't know if he plays... No, oh, wait, no, it's Jack Johnson. Okay. Because um, there was somebody with the last name Johnson playing for the Blackhawks. Uh, but anyway, um, Eric Johnson and Devon Tage on the second pair... Uh, third pair, you got Ryan Murray and Bone Bible. And guys, I wanted to tell, tell you this. Uh, when it was the Avalanche Stanley Cup Parade, um, Bone Byron for some reason, was in the audience. And the cops had thought he was a fan. And, uh, and the other uh, Avalanche fans in the audience were saying, he's a player, he's a player. And then the cop just let him uh, go on by. But he actually, but they actually thought that he was just a random fan. And that was like kind of funny right there. Uh, so I just want to share that with you guys. Um, and goalies, you got Darcy Kemper, who's now Washington Capitol, and Pablo Francis backing him up. So uh, this is the Colorado Avalanche Stanley Cup team before they made some moves. Uh, I'm going to be playing with them. As you guys can see, I am a 96 overall, uh, age 18, 18 uh, years old on here. And I am a lefty. Um, I am a sniper. Sometimes I could be a playmaker, depending on what I do on and off the ice. Uh, Coach satisfaction very high. So, yeah. Just all that stuff for me, guys. So... Can't wait to see how I do. Our first game is against um, my Chicago Blackhawks. So I'm going to be taking on my uh, Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, hopefully, we get a dub against them in our first game. Hate to take on the team that I grew up cheering for, uh, the team I grew up watching. So, yeah, but it is what it is. So, uh, we're going to send them all the way up to the trade deadline. And, yeah, go from there. 
All right, guys, so we're at the trade deadline. We are 44, 16, and 2. So we're doing pretty good, but there's at some point of the season where we started doing terrible. So we got a dub against my Chicago Blackhawks, and then we lost three straight games um, after that. So, yeah, we were kind of doing terrible at uh, in October and kind of sort, sort of in November, but we picked back up. Uh, so we're doing great now, uh, 44, 16, and 2 uh, at the deadline. Uh, let's see who's leading the team in points. And it is Nate Mack, Nathan McKinnon with 46 goals, 55 assists, 101 points. So 101 points in 62 games. So Nate Mack is having a terrific um, season. Uh, was 7-1-2 and two in last 10 uh, and we're going to be taking on the Edmonton Oilers. I'm probably going to sim this because I, I really don't care about the trade deadline part, to uh, be honest with you guys. Uh, so just sim that. Uh, just say bye. But I'm going to keep on simming. Uh, we're not doing no trades and all that stuff. Uh, we're just, seeing, we're just going to be seeing how I do on the Colorado Avalanche. That's all. That is what this whole entire video is about. It's not about trades or nothing. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, uh, Nate Max leading the team. Um, next game is against the Edmonton Oilers. So we'll sim from here all the way up to the uh, other half of the season. And yeah, so can't wait to see how we do. All right, guys. So we are 57, 20, and 5. Uh, that's our record for the season. So we are a playoff team. Uh, we finished first in our division with 119 points, so that is um, outstanding to see uh, who led the team for the season. Probably Nate Mack again, because uh, he was tearing it up at the first half of the season. Uh, yep, Nate Mack with 126 goals. I mean, I mean, sorry, 126 points, 126 points, 57 goals. Uh, 69 says, so possibly could win the Rocket with Shard. Uh, I just want to see how everybody else. Uh, had did. All right, so Nate Mack with 126. I got 125, so I was tearing it up uh, for the abs too. Uh, Miko ranted in the moose. He got 106. Uh, Kale McCarr, 72. Uh, Nazem Kadri, 70. Uh, Gabe, he got 66. Uh, JT Confer, 41. Andre Burkowski, 37, the Chuska, 37, and so forth. I do not feel like um, going down the whole entire list, guys. Uh, see who um, led the points in the entire league. And it is Nate Mack uh, with 126 points. So uh, he wins to Art Ross. He just beat me by one. If I could have had one more goal, one, if I could have had two more goals or two more assists, it don't matter which. I could have won the Art Ross Trophy, um, and if I had scored like five, six more goals, I probably could have won the Rock with Shark too, but um, this whole first line, I was playing with Nate Mack and Miko Rancis, so that whole first line for the Avalanche just went off. I mean, and I fit very well with the Colorado Avalanche, so I'm happy to be on the team uh, playing with... Um, uh, these guys on the first line, Nathan McKinnon and Miko Rantanen. I mean, just love it. Anyway, uh, Cooch got 99. Uh, Jack Eichel got 97, which you don't see that uh, from him. Brady Point, 96. Uh, Conor David, 90, 94. Uh, Anze Kopitar, 92. Stammer, 86. All right. Top five goal scorers. Nate Mack, um, me... Austin Matthews, Cooch, and the great A, Alex Ovechkin. All right, who led the assists? And it was Miko Vantanen. So that whole first line for us just went off. It was Miko Vantanen, Nate Mack, and myself. We just went off on that first line, guys. That's why we're the top three players uh, for points in the uh, entire league because we just went off. Let's see how defense did. Um, Thomas Shabbat, 75 points. Could win the Rock. I mean, could win the James Norris. Uh, Cam McCarr finished third for defense. So, 
Oh, yeah. Uh, rookie skaters. I know I didn't do this for my last video. Wow, 125 points. So the caller is going to me. I beat Trevor Zegers, who should have won it in real life. But uh, it, is, it is what it is, guys. So, yeah. Anyway, time to go to um, team stats. Probably going to win the President's Trophy like the Avs did in real life. And, no, it was the Tampa Bay Lightning who the Avalanche beat in the Stanley Cup Final. So, they just won the President's Trophy and uh, got us by two points. Uh, we finished second. Uh, let's see how everybody else had did. Going down the list. Wow, Vancouver sneaks in at 17. And Edmonton. Wow. Who finished last? And it was the Arizona Coyotes who finished last in the league. You hate to see it. All right, so. Anyway, it's playoff time, and we are up against... Who is it? Come on. Vancouver Canucks. Okay, so we're taking on the Canucks uh, in the Stanley Cup playoffs who finished 17th in the league. We should be able to beat this team because we finished second in the league. We could have won a President's Trophy if the Lightning hadn't beat us by two points. Okay, two. Lean the series two games to one. Can we sweep the Canucks? I mean, can we win the series against Canucks? And we do. Let's go. All right. Second round, we're up against... Come on, the Dallas Stars. So, um, taking on Dallas, who beat the Avs uh, in the 2020 uh, Stanley Cup uh, playoffs. Now it's in the bubble. And we're on the verge of sweeping the Stars. Can we get it done? Can the sweep get done? It cannot. The Stars uh, live another day. But we take them out in five, so let's go. As long as we take them out, I'm happy. And we're up against the Edmonton Oilers, who the Avalanche has swept to get to the Stanley Cup Final. Can we sweep them again? We cannot because we just got a 9-2 L in that second game. We're up in the series two games to one. Lightning and Rangers, who went against each other in real life, uh, they're going against each other uh, in the uh, conference finals as well. And we lose to the Oilers. Come on. Come on, Avs. Come on, Avs. We are going to a game seven. Are you kidding me? Hate game sevens. Come on. Two one. Come on. Four three. Oh boy. Come on, Avs. Five three. Okay. Five four. Okay, let's go. I just scored a power play goal to get the boys going. 6-4, Kyle Turris comes back, who retired in real life. Nate Mack makes it 6-5. Come on, one more go, guys. Come on. And it doesn't look like it's going to be. Could have had one more go. We could have went on to the Stanley Cup final. Um, so the team that the Avalanche swept in real life beats us in NHL 22. And... It is the Oilers and the Lightning in the Stanley Cup Final. Uh, let's see. And the Oilers win the Stanley Cup, so we end up losing to the uh, champs. And I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that, guys. Uh, let me stop. Come on. Let me stop. I did not. Continue sending me. I, I, I didn't mean to get this far. I did not mean to get this far. Uh, I want to stop. Can I stop? Thank you. Okay. All right. So the Oilers won the Stanley Cup. Congrats to them. Um, we could have scored one more goal. We could have went to the Stanley Cup final. Check out the award. So, yeah, Oilers win the Stanley Cup. Lightning win the President's Trophy. Um, Art Ross goes to Nate Mack. Hart goes to me. James Norris, Cam McCarr, who won it in real life. Lady Bing, Nate Mack. Calder, me. Cons my trophy. Who else? The Con McDavid, who probably could have had one in real life if they didn't get swept. The Oilers didn't get swept by the Avalanche. Vesna goes to Vassy. So does the William Jennings. Bill Masterson goes to Big Z. So they don't char. Jack Adams goes to the Senators coach. Frank J. Selke goes to Sid the Kid. Uh, Ted Lindsay Award goes to me. 
and the Reese Rock Richard goes to Nate Mack. So, what a year for us, regardless of us not going to the Stanley Cup final. Uh, let's see how Edmonton did. So, they beat the Golden Knights in six, beat the Kings in seven, and, of course, beat us in seven, and beat um, the Lightning in six. Um, Lightning got there by sweeping the Flyers, beat the Senators, beat the Rangers in seven, um, who actually did it in real life in 2015 um, when they took on each other and, of course, lost to the Oilers. All right, guys, so that is it. So apparently I had an outstanding season regardless of not um, going to the Stanley Cup final and winning the Stanley Cup. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit it with a like, hit it with a subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.